welcome to my first episode on the setting and lore of Infinity, the game by Corvus Belly. This episode is dedicated to the lowly Ghulam, the basic line infantry of Hak Islam. Ghulam are lightly equipped infantry that make up the bulk of the Hak Islamite armed forces. They do not need the advanced equipment given to troops of other nations. They're not trained to be super soldiers, instead, they're competently equipped and used as a mobile force, trained primarily for defense. In the event of an invasion or incursion, large numbers of Ghulam are to be the hammer that pushes enemy forces against the anvil of Hak Islam's better trained and more specialized forces. This doctrine is called Antikythera by Hak Islam High Command, a reference to the ancient analog computer. Under this doctrine, the Ghulam are the gear train that synchronizes all the various regional armies together into a holistic combat force. Hak Islam has numerous competing regional and factional armies. The only completely state-controlled one is the Sword of Allah, and the Ghulam make up the bulk of this force. Hak Islam places great value on mobility. The incredible medical training of Ghulam doctors means that the army has less reliance on large hospitals or supply bases, and rugged survival training makes Ghulam very flexible, enough to be deployed on space stations, asteroids, planets, or any other point of interest. That flexibility means that a Ghulam trooper might be seconded to protect one of the many biotech health corporations in Hak Islam, such as Seguin Hill or Echelon Technologies. These troopers might also work as military police in underdeveloped regions of Borak like the Gabar Khanate. The hammer and anvil strategy is not a new one, dating back as old as organized warfare itself. For Hak Islam, this means to delay the enemy with better troops like the Magariva Guard, while the Ghulam get into place and outflank a better equipped opponent. Specialized support corps like the Hulka, which are dedicated dropship and mechanized troopers, or the Nafatun, which are Ghulam with special flamethrowers, help to sow shock and eventually break up the enemy force. Najarun are engineers trained in the art of siege warfare, as well as the maintenance of Hak Islam's remotes. All of them are self-sufficient and answer directly to high command. Ghulam and Halka are equipped with the Askari IS Sayad. Askari makes the Fadi, or Redeemer, missile launcher as well, the Bulad pistol, the Borkan machine gun, and the ubiquitous Fad Underslung shotgun. The FOD was developed based on feedback from Bashi Bazook Corsairs and, like all shotguns, is theoretically illegal to use during warfare. Maybe Hak Islam gets away with it by saying it's there for opening doors, like the Master Key or M26 that the United States uses today. Shotguns fire flechettes, sometimes using laser-aided target selectors to detonate them at the ideal distance to saturate an area. Aside from combat, Ghulam have fairly light gear and are equipped for mobility. They are issued Rila journey rations which are nutritious as well as being surprisingly tasty. Ghulam date back to the very first edition of Infinity. The old models are ugly, but they have a lot of character in these nice single cast pieces. Even the cheesy butt shot of the Panzerfaust is great and unique. I love the new Najarun and Doctor models quite a lot, and uh, they still have the same fun and character of the old ones. Just great models, in my opinion. The new box, the new stuff is excellent, uh, I've always loved the old ones too the Solid Snake guy in particular. Uh, the new uniforms though, they're a lot more sensible and easy to paint. I'm still not sure what all the gear is on them. Is it, is it a jetpack? I, I don't know. But weirdly, the Ghulam also have an unreleased mini. Uh, a few were giving out in 2017. Uh, it's got the new sculpt, but still uses the old weird looking heavy machine gun. It's also a lefty. As far as line infantry goes, I do think that the Ghulam are my favorite out of all the factions. They're great on the tabletop, they look cool, and they fit the theme of the army perfectly. Ghulam means something like servant, or assistant, or boy, or slave in Arabic. A one usage of the word refers to the servants the pious Muslim would receive in the afterlife. The plural is Gilman, which can refer to mercenary, slaves, and soldiers in Islamic empires. Um, if you know what the Mamluks are, then you know what the Gilman are. The, the first Gilman were taken as prisoners of war by the Abbasid Caliphate back in the 9th century. Uh, they were well-paid and influential soldiers. Uh, they were trained and educated at great personal expense. Gilman could buy their own freedom, and some of these slave soldiers would go on to found their own breakaway states, like the Mamluk Kingdom in Egypt. Nafatun, the specialized flamethrower troops, get their name from Naft, which is the chemical used in the Nepalm flamethrowers. Uh, not sure where the word Naft comes from. Um, Halka, however, seems to be named after a form of North Moroccan theater, um, um, and Najarun finally meets carpenter or woodworker. 
Thank you so very much for giving this a listen. If you liked it, uh, give me a thumbs up. But more importantly, really more importantly, uh, let me know in the comments what you want me to cover. I would be very interested in finding out exactly what, um, you know, what parts of the Infinity Universe want to hear about. Thanks a bunch.